How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 3! I know, didn't think we'd be back so soon, huh? So in the last episode, we actually beat the game. We finished the game and wow, what a freaking ending, holy crap. Like, now that I've had a little bit more time to like reflect on it and realize what happened and think about it, um, holy crap, that game's ending was... I, okay, I know everybody was probably wanting like shulk or rex to show up or like you know something like that but i'm gonna be honest for what it was for being its own game this game's ending was freaking amazing um also today is the day that the nintendo direct happened not to date this episode or anything but um i just finished watching the nintendo direct and i did not think they were gonna show xenoblade 3 because the game just came out but they did they showed the DLC Wave 1 in that Nintendo Direct. Um, so we know now who the character in Wave 1 is going to be. And we're definitely going to record that, obviously. Um, so this character, this silhouette, she's a robot girl. Like an artificial blade, kind of like Poppy, named Eno. Which is really interesting, because everybody was thinking it was going to be Poppy. But it's not. It's um some new character, which I honestly like more. Because we get more brand new stuff with brand new characters. But anyways that's not for today enough to, enough about the uh, Nintendo Direct what we're here for today is the post game of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 which is I wonder how about we stop by the castle and pay her a visit wow the characters already know what we're doing before I even told you guys <laughs> so if you go into the class menu after beating the game there is these two classes now it's obvious who these are this is Melia this is Nia so it's literally just exactly what I wanted. You get their classes at post game, which is crazy to me. And I cannot wait because you saw that Nia had that like Aegis swords and Melia had some crazy transformation. So we're going to go get those classes today. Most likely it's going to be hero quest um, because, you know, if they're if you can get their class, they're going to be hero characters, which, oh, my God, the thought that Nia and Melia are hero characters. This game is literally so freaking perfect. You guys like, oh, my gosh. 10 out of 10 from me this is like i said before now that i've reflected on the story more and like had some time to take in the ending um i i, I really love every part of this game this is definitely my new favorite game like favorite video game ever it's just this game does too many little things right so many little things that it does right oh i was right okay i was gonna say um so, if the hero characters that we're going after today are Nia and Melia, I'm assuming that they're going to be in their castles. Um, and it's kind of confirmed now because no one of them just said, oh, should we pay the queen a visit? But, um, which technically doesn't make sense because at this point in the game, well, no, I guess it makes sense. Um, so, I'm assuming Melia is going to be at her castle and Nia, I don't think is at Agnes castle. I think she's still at the cloud keep at this point in the game, right? So, we're going to go there for her. But for now, we're going to do Melia. Um, it really doesn't matter which one we do first, but Melia's from Xenoblade 1, so her first, and then Nia from Xenoblade 2. So I'm assuming this question mark is it, right? Because what else would be in the castle, you know? Excuse oh my god, I've been... Oh, Melia! <laughs> She's just walking by like it's not strange. That's the whole queen. Wait. I know who you are. Um, yeah. Your Majesty! <sighs> this makes fail. me so happy. I understand how you feel, but you must think of your own well-being. Just like Please, Melia. Of course she wouldn't want to sit I still. You. Surely I have been patient enough. Stuck there in origin. It's enough to send one insane. Um, yeah, let her free. She's powerful. She can hold her own. Her Majesty is insistent that she explore the outside world undercover. I wanted to see for myself what the beings of this world thought, what they needed. She's a good queen. Until now, all I could do was perceive data, but no <clears> longer. <throat> I know, yes, but if you simply gave us the order, we could perform all the legwork for you. 
There are things you can't understand unless you experience them for yourself. That's facts. See, it's because of this that I don't... I'm not upset that we didn't see Shulk or Rex in this game, because we literally get Nia and Melia. And then, my theory right now is that the final DLC is gonna be a prequel, where we get to play as older Rex and older Shulk. So we'll get all that then. But for now, this is more than good enough. They didn't even have to do this. Like, I'm honestly so, so happy that we get a hero quest for Nia and Melia. This is... God, this game is everything I wanted and more. Like... It will accompany her. With you, won't that draw attention? How about if we went with you? Yeah, see? We're quite well traveled around Ionios now. There are plenty of places we could show you around, I'm sure. And of course, we share a common goal. There are people out there living in the harshest conditions, yet still they struggle on. We want to help them all too, just like you. You want to help? More people makes for more Marys. Would be mega Marys with more Melia. Yes. Oh, Nana, you must refer to her highness in the proper manner. Melina speaking proper. Oh, that's right. Many sorries, Melly. 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 <laughs> Please, your highness, forgive our insolence. Oh, Tyon did a boo boo. I didn't. <laughs> It's been a long time since anyone called me that. Oh yeah, who used to call her Melly? I think Riku's Riki's children. Your Majesty, why must you? God, I love her new design so much. This is so cool. We have only just returned. You are the hope of all Kevers. Should the unthinkable happen, then you're such a fosspot, Isel. <laughs> But I want you to understand, the future is not shouldered by me alone. It is something that is created by each and every person in the world. I never wanted to sit there in my ivory tower and gaze down from on high. It's not her style. That's not the kind of ruler I am. Nope. I apologize. You saw her in Future Connected, out going out gentleman. there, fighting the fight herself. You. you are what I wanted. You are my hope. Oh my god, that final battle, you guys, I was losing my mind. That starlight quest, kick she did? Or rather, something to Before discuss. it was just a weak kick, and now it's a freaking whole backflip kick. Her name is Melia. If that's truly what you wish for. I don't see why not. Glad to have you with us, Melia. Melia? <laughs> I'm glad she's not like... Footing. That's crazy, man. No, I like it. I'm glad they're not yeah, treating her like a I'm queen. Feel so awkward. I like that it's just Melia joining our party. This is perfect. Natural. The stomach of Manana getting rumbly. Man, is my squeaky chair going to be a trademark of all my videos? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so where do you want to go first, What's Melia? On? Our wings. Your height. Sorry. I still can't believe you have them too, Melia. Makes me feel special. Oh, is she gonna explain to them what high empty are? Right. We are the same. Your Majesty. I urge you, please take care. I'll be relying on you in my absence, Isel. I'm sorry to saddle you all with me, everyone. But I'm looking forward to it too. Melia, this is literally the coolest thing in the entire game. What are you talking about? Royal Summoner? Who gets her class first? Who gets it first? No! Okay, so Meal's gonna get uh, uh, Nia's class then. Wait, so is there no quest? We just get her? Was that it? Was that, that was the quest? Royal Summoner, Attacker. Command three different elements. Use their talent art for summoning them for great. So she literally plays just like Xenoblade 1. That's amazing. Huh. Wait, so, okay. There's no hero quest. Okay, this is good though because we can fit them both into one episode. Um... It's literally just, um, we get her class. I'm not complaining. Royal Summoner. You know what, guys? Is this the best video game ever? Oh my god, and you get the freaking cool wings! And you get to use her World Ender Spear. Okay, let's see. Summon Element. Oh wait, Summon Element. So does it just summon a random one? We don't get to choose? It's all her old moves! Element Genesis. Um, boosts damage by discharging all elements. So we have to keep summon element on because that summons elements. It'll probably be random like in Xenoblade uh, 
or no wait that, that's not how before you could choose what elements but i guess in this game it's random elemental discharge um boost elements damage okay so that's also like one shadow stitch is also from one starfall ether attack and power effect boost damage dealt by 80 percent okay what are they on her though starlight kick oh my god how are you not gonna have that on <laughs> ouch all right guys time to fight one of these giants and test this class oh my god it's so freaking cool the wings the wing whoa the, the battle theme whoa oh my god this is the it's so jazzy and funky it's the bottom shoulder battle theme God. It's like a funk remix. <laughs> I'm just going to let you guys take the music in for a bit. That theme, I I had to get silent so you guys could hear that. Oh my God, it's the it's the battle theme from Bionis's shoulder, but it's like a freaking funky jazzy remix, and that song was already funky and jazzy. Oh my gosh, so that means Nia's gonna get her own battle theme too, right? That is so fitting and perfect for Melia. Holy crap, these are this is literally the best class in the game. Like, not only do you get to play as Melia and summon summon element and discharge and all the moves from one, and you get these cool floating wings, but on top of all that, you get that amazing battle theme. Gee whiz! This is literally... Okay, this makes it perfect. Like, if they didn't add this, I would have been a little more disappointed that there was no, like, Xenoblade 1 or 2 characters or stuff, but this is... They got it. Monolith Soft 1. Um, prevents order from completing if it reaches 100% through hero's action, letting you select another character. Oh, wait. So she acts like a, um... She acts like a, uh... A healer. That's really good. Also, I wasn't talking about the gameplay, um, because I was so busy listening to the music, but the game... Like I said, perfect. This is amazing. They're really killing it. Um with this class with this royal summoner class I, I wow um let's go ahead and starlight kick boom <laughs> that is so perfect dang so we can so we can go over a hundred but it still doesn't go through what I thought it was just like a healer but no it's better it can go over a hundred whoa okay dang so you can you can make chain attacks really good with Melia. Wow. So what? I wonder what Nia's gonna have then. Um. Wow. Let's try to get Melia's um order so we can see what her special move is, and then we'll go get Nia. <laughs> Ether Absolute. That is the Queen of Kevins. Oh, I didn't even read what it did. Reduce enemy Ether defense by 45% points during a chain attack. Um, that's perfect because we're using like straight ether attacks boom okay and then let's cap it with Tyon and then we'll finish it with uh, Mio and then let's see what Melia can do ether absolute oh yeah he did he did what you got Melia <laughs> she is so cool Starlight kick! Oh, that's all it was. It was just a double starlight kick. Okay, I messed with that. I thought it was gonna finish with like a, uh, like that huge electric field thing that she did, uh, in the final battle. Alright, I'll see what Noah does on this class. 
I'm so happy right now, you guys. This is like everything I've wanted. Oh. He's doing some magic stuff. Ooh, laser rain. Okay, those are both cool. Um, let, Yeah, let's do the Ouroboros and let's see how far we can take it with her um, hero ability. So let's go ahead and start with Senna. And then we'll do Tyon and then Melia and then Noah and we'll get a super high number. Alright, so now, in theory, we should be able to do Melia and it'll stick at 160. That is ridiculously broken. You're joking. Oh my gosh. We're about to... 321? Yo! Well, this thing's already dead anyway, so it's not going to make a difference, but wow. Alright, Melia, best Kevis class in the game. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, th this was amazing. Th this is everything I wanted, everything I could have hoped for. And more. Now, good chain attack. And the battle theme. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she has her own unique battle theme. My question is, does that theme play um, when you're on the class or just when she's in the party? Um, we'll test it and find out later. But for now, let's uh, go move on and grab Nia. Um, let's see her art. Oh my god. And they kept this hidden the whole time. I love Monolith Soft. I love them so much. This is so freaking cool. Um, let's check her out one more time. Melia, Queen of Kevez, Royal Summoner. A fearsome attacker combining dynamic elemental attacks and reliable support. Wow. All right, let's let me stop uh, freaking out so much. Let's get Nia now. I'm assuming we'll get their Ascension quest once we have both of them in the party, and maybe it'll be like the same quest for both of them. It'll be like a Nia Melia combined quest. Hmm, huh? where is she? Where's the queen? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm away. asking. But where is she then? She's out exploring. Da, 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 da. Is she taking a bath? Da, 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 da. Huh? Sorry about all that noise. <laughs> I forgot how cool her outfit is. Uh, haven't worn this for a while. Still looks pretty natty though, eh, Nia Fox? <laughs> it kind of looks like Pyro and Mithra's outfit, I'm not so going to lie. tough to get around you, those bloody formal duds. One false step, and you fall flat on your face. Ah, oh, I finally feel like I can be myself. Really cut loose, I love it. Do they, they don't know, huh, oh. that she's like, not royal and, you know, graceful. Oh, she's like a tomboy. Oh, 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 what are you guys doing here? <laughs> We just, uh, what are you? She looks so freaking cool. Um, Majesty, your clothes. Wait, just hang on. Give me a second here, all right? It's literally a perfect mix between her Xenoblade 2 design and her Blade design and her Xenoblade 3 design. Like, this is... This is so Please cool. Accept my heartfelt welcome. I can offer you only a simple welcome today. But do please make yourselves <laughs> She had to compose herself and get into queen mode. Hmm. Is something the matter? Doesn't it wear on you? Acting like that. What? Uh, Noah? No, it's perfectly fine. Dispense with such concerns. Pray. Let not my regal status prohibit you from presenting your inquiries. Come on, Nia, quit Please. acting. <laughs> Just be minds. Nia again. All right, well, here's a question. What's that get up all about? Uh, uh, yes, perhaps you would find my clothes rather curious. It literally looks just like Mithra. I mean, Look at the leggings and the thing around her right leg. It. And the two little wings hanging out. She really oh. took a lot of inspiration from Tyra and Mithra. No, it's nothing like that. I think this is gonna end up being my favorite class. Before, I told you all how the world was once divided into two, if you recall. Yes, you told us when we first met. How could we forget that, Your Majesty? These clothes belong to that era, when the worlds were two, unmingled. 
These raiments were created especially for me, that older realm. So, so they're from your old world, Majesty. So this is what she's going to be but wearing in the DLC. I suppose you could call it the keepsake of my motherland, if you like. Motherland? Can you explain that word, please? The place of my coming into existence in the world. Of my infancy and upbringing. We called that our motherland. Your Majesty's motherland. Gormot. Could it, have been? it was I wild with a bunch of cat people. I am. The subject seems so huge I can scarcely begin to imagine it. If it please you, I'd love to hear more about your world, Your Majesty. I'll rest. Certainly. I'd be happy to. Well, to begin with, I ought to explain. Blades. What's she upset for? Oh, oh. Actually, now that I think it over, if I were to tell you the whole of the story, a full day and night might not suffice, I fear. Yeah, that's a whole game. In fact, I'm certain of it. It's a whole hundred hour oh, long I game. See. Then I'm sorry to have made such an unreasonable demand of you. Well, maybe another time then. Even then, surely you have important matters you ought to be taking care of. It won't do for Nia, we want to be here. We freaking love yous. Come on oh, now. I suppose so, but be more like Melia. Get out. Let us go forth together. Yes. Yes, Your Majesty, as you will. He said, "Huh? Wait. What no, you mean together?" Me, Your Majesty, <laughs> I don't think we quite heard right. I mean to say that I will accompany you on your travels. If that only you could have two hero I'll characters in your party at once. Night and day, every day, if needs. Yes. Ah, I mean, that is not not to imply that being cooped up here the whole time is as lonesome as it is tedious, or that I'm well pleased with myself for inventing an elegant, way sneak excuse to get out. <laughs> it's nothing like that. At all. Nia, please do come not on now. This. No one was saying that this is exactly way. what we want. Um, Please join us. Tell us all your stories of Xenoblade 2, of Rex, uh, we of your homeland. Alright then, it's decided. A deal, shall we say? Of yes, your daughter? Majesty. I'm pretty sure her daughter is Mio. Um, because they both have the Flesh Eater Core Crystal. They probably won't show us that till the DLC though. Okay, then. Um, Cause they showed she had a kid with Rex, remember at the end of the game in the last episode? Respectfully. Come now. No need for such formality. I ask only for your kind support, Noah. Oh, and from now on, I'd like you to address me simply as Nia. You got it. From now on, I'll be just another one of your ordinary fellow traveling folk. <laughs> Travel Ionios with Nia and discover special events across Wait, really? So this is a real thing? We get to we get to discover it. Oh, sorry, I don't know why it lagged twice like that. Um... Wait... <laughs> what?! Life Sage! What I mean to say is... Oh, forget it. The fact that she has Pyra and Mithra's swords is so freaking cool. Nia's class, roll, healer, the strongest of the healer classes. You, you got that right. Able to support the entire party, heals allies while dealing defense ignoring damage to enemies. So she's used one of those classes that is a uh, quote-unquote healer, but really does more damage than an attacker. This is so cool! Life Sage. Oh, my bad. My bad. There we go. That is so fitting for Mio. Like, you can't tell me that Mio is not Nia's daughter. <laughs> I won't believe it. Um, let's see, what do we got? Oh, none of her accessories are set. Was it the same way with Melia? I didn't check. Um, Queen of Agnes, a healer whose command of water can fell foes and heal allies in the same beat. A battlefield messiah. Dang! Arts, Saber Slash, Redemption, Redeeming Bloom. It's literally her moves from, um, Xenoblade 2. Last Hope and Merciful Heart. Divine Sword. Wow. Um, so let's see what we have on Mio. Saber Slash, Redemption, Water Lily, Divine Sword, Hydro Blast, and Aquamine. Um, heals allies when art hits to max of 100%. Of healing power wow um redemption is just a big heal water lily is a regenerate field hydro blast ignore defense and continuously heal nearby allies and boost recharge speed wow wow what 
so much. Oh, look at the... You guys, I'm gonna be honest. We haven't we haven't done the gameplay yet, but um, this is my new favorite class. Yes. <laughs> um. All right. So let's not worry too much about the stuff that we have to set up again. Let's just go test out how this class plays. All right. So the battle theme was Bionis' shoulder theme remixed amazingly for Melia. So for Nia, I'm assuming it's going to be. Um, either like the final battle theme of Xenoblade 2 or Drifting Souls. Uh, let's find out. <laughs> this is so cool. Ooh, it already sounds good. Holy crap. Holy crap. Ooh, that is cool. Redemption. Oh yeah, this class is cool. It actually puts a little water lily up. I can't tell what song this is. Maybe it's not a remix, it's a whole new song, I think. Oh, it's Drifting Souls! It is Drifting Souls! Okay, that's like Nia's theme! It's like a battle version of it! Oh my gosh! Oh, hold on. Hear this. We get to wield Pyramid with the sword! This is the best theme in the game. This is the best theme in the entire game. Oh my gosh! I love Drifting Souls! And it's like a battle remix! It's like ba da ba 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 Okay, sorry, I'm I'm fanning out. Salvation's Ripple. 90% chance to revive all down party members, allowing them to participate. What? That is broken. Nia is broken! So you can start a chain attack even if everybody's dead. And then boom, they come back. Chain attack time. You're joking. Oh my gosh. And then what's this? Reactivates all characters except self when the hero completes an order. What? Okay, she's way... I'm gonna be honest. Nia's class is way better and way cooler than Melia's. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys saw the talent art? She puts the bubbles out and then slashes them both with Pyro and Mithra Swords? This low-key is my new favorite class, I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to get this class on Noah. Um, okay, so if she gets everybody back, we might as well use everybody, right? So, um, let's start with Senna. Both her skills for the chain attack is broken. Um, and then let's do Noah. And we might as well use all our healers, right? <laughs> um, because we're gonna get them all back, so it doesn't matter. Nia! Like, okay. I love Melia too, don't get me wrong, but Nia's just... So much cooler in every way! I like her theme more, I like her gameplay more, I, her, her skills are broken. She uses Pirate and Mithra's swords. How freaking cool is that? Okay, so now if we finish with Nia... We'll get everybody back, right? That sounds ridiculous. There's no way. She is so freaking cool. Ooh! Oh, and her chain attack move is cooler. Nah, no, yeah. N Nia over Melon. Dang! We got everyone back. Oh my gosh. Nia! Okay, well, I can tell you guys right now, when we play the DLC, um, whenever that comes out, Oh, well, we have a date now, actually. It comes out October 13th. Um, this is the class we're on. <laughs> Whoa, look, she just did her level 3 art from Xenoblade 2. Okay, after this video... Oh, oh, oh. After this video, I'm gonna go and listen to the Drifting Souls battle version um, on YouTube so I can really take it in, but just already... This is my new favorite theme of the game. Like, how could it not be? It's a battle remix of Drifting Souls. 
This sounds like something that they would have in Smash Bros. No matter how many moves. Only thing that would be better is if it had lyrics. But that, that's asking for a lot. That's asking for a lot. Alright, now let's see Nia's um, art. Oh my god, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> this is literally so cool! There goes Pyrosword. There goes Mithra's sword. Like, what a cool idea to make her literally like Pyra and Mithra. Like, it's like Xenoblade 2 in a character. And she, she's a, um, attacking healer, which if you guys play Xenoblade 2, those are all the best. Those are the best, um, characters. Fiora, um, Poppy, if you put healing stuff on her. Even Mithra, if you put the, um, um, what's it called? The, the thing that lets you heal when you do critical hits. Like, literally, ooh, her weapon is Anima Sword. Literally, she embodies Xenoblade 2 in more ways than one. Um, let's go ahead and check out her skills. So you have Steadfast Healing, Restore Nearby Allies HP on our Execution, Broken. 25% ch chance to heal using 80% chance of healing power upon taking damage, Broken. 40% chance to deal 150 of healing power, Broken. Reduces damage to allies by 12% and boosts- Okay, yeah. She's broken. She's broken. Yeah. This is really cool. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining and, uh... Watching this special little bonus episode where we get the freaking queens on our team. Literally exactly what I wanted at the end of Xenoblade 2. To have them playable and as hero units. Um. So yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. I don't know. I Again. I don't know if I'm going to make another video before the DLC. Or if this is it for Xenoblade 3 until October 13th. But um. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.